started really strong, got two quick wins to begin things, but uh, Hyun has come charging back. No, I was Fight Club champion for 14 consecutive weeks. You need to watch out. Yeah, we were starting for a moment there to maybe think about calling it Pulled Club, and then Hyun says, no! Remember, it was Fight Club for 14 weeks. 15 yes. weeks, actually. Yeah, yes it yeah. was. See, the uh, lost to Leenock on week 15. Guys, here we are. It's time for game number five. This series currently tied up two to two. And as I said, Kevin, I think we're going to game number 11 as to who to give it to. Please don't ask that. I can't. <laughs> I know. Well, the map is Ohana. This, we're, we're back to uh, Pult's pick of maps. He's chosen Ohana, and I'm really not surprised about that. This is a go-to map for him. He loves a very aggressive, multitask style play here. Uh, and we'll see what, uh, what our players can bring out, because we're ready to jump into the game. The countdown has begun. The map is Ohana. We're ready for a tie-breaking game here between Hyun and Pult. Ohana. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are on Ohana and down at the bottom right hand corner of the map. We have our Red Zerg player who's won two games in a row. From Quantic Gaming, he is. Yon! He is getting better with every I one know. of those. That is fantastic. He's looking poised to uh, take an advantage here in this set, but this guy up here on the top left-hand corner is trying to stop him. He's our blue Terran player from Austin, Texas. He is... Bolt! Oh, hell yeah. Josh bringing the hype. So good. All right, so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're on Ohana. I mentioned before that uh, this was Pult's pick. Um, a lot of players hadn't gone to, oh, well, foreshadowing there. Pult's going to win this next game. Um, uh, Pult loves this map um, in, in a time when a lot of Terran players weren't really liking it. We saw it as a, kind of a res renaissance for a while for, uh, uh, for Terran players when you had people like uh, Marine King Prime and Gumiho going for that three barracks unupgraded Marines into mech strategy, yep. and they could bunker up. Then it fell out of favor for a while with the Heavy Infester play, but but Polt loves to multitask. He loves to uh, make sure that his opponent can't defend multiple drops at once. He's all over the place, whether it's in mech or whether it's in bio. That's largely his strategy here. All right, so one racks expand to open it up, and we'll have to see as those things do develop. Kevin's uh, premonition's coming true. I don't know about that Polt, the Polt winning, though. Hyun's on a little bit of a run right now, Kevin. He's looking pretty good. Yeah. Looking very good. And uh, we want to give a shout-out to a couple of people that are here right now. Blizzard Entertainment is actually at South by Southwest Gaming. Uh, they are not only graciously uh, helping out with this event, but uh, also hiring. So if you guys want to uh, apply to Blizzard, you can head over. They're on the far wall and uh, talk to the reps that are sitting over there. Also, Alienware, thank you very much for their support of this event. Um, it's really cool what they're doing. You can follow them on Twitter as at Alienware. You can also follow them on Facebook at facebook.com slash Alienware. So please do follow them for their support of esports here yeah. at South by Southwest Exactly Gaming. what I was just going to say, Kevin. You know, it's it's really important to support the companies that support esports. If, if you love esports, you know, uh, these are the guys that keeps things running. So... Big shout out to Alienware right there, and uh, you know, if you've got the bank for it, score yourself one of their computers, they're completely worth it. All right, guys, well here we are, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we're into the game now. Uh, currently, if you guys saw, as we were going into this game, the community was supporting Hyun over Pult 57% to 43 at the moment, so really wi uh, riding that wave of momentum that Hyun has going ahead. And of course, you guys can vote as well on the official IPL iOS app and at IGN.com slash IPL. Let us know who you think is going to take this uh, best of 11. Speed on the way to kick things off here for Hyun once again. Two queens as well. We'll see if he follows up with some additional ones. This is another map much like Daybreak where um, creep is of the utmost importance, though it's for a slightly different reason. Once again, you do see the bases in a line. Look at the top, look at the bottom. You see how there's three bases. Uh, so in that regard, it does share similarities with Daybreak. But here's the thing on Ohana. It's so easy to spread creep. Uh, there's no cliffs, no ledges. Every set of brush you can actually see around them if you just hold the Zelnaga Towers. So really easy to get your creep spread on Ohana. And uh, we should see that from Hyun. Though right now, he's actually got three overlords on the way and is queuing 
quite an um, amount of gas. We should see a bunch of over, or, uh, roaches here. In yeah, just a roach push once again from Hyun. This didn't work out too well for him in game number one. This is a decent map to do this on, though. Uh, Ohanam, you can get in there. You can get some damage done. The bunker is already on the way from Polto, who got a perfect scout of that early gas coming out. So he is going to be more prepared than he was in game number one. And if he actually holds us better than he did in game number one, which he won, by the way, and took a very little economic damage comparatively, he is going to be in a magnificent position. Completely true. Uh, so we'll have to see how things do develop for him. He is going for Banshees, but they're going to be pretty late in regards to how quickly this Roach pressure is actually going to be arriving. Ling heading down the left-hand side of the map right now, really like that. Checking for any SCV or Marine that might run in while he's on his way out. Making sure to hold both the Zell Naga Towers. Roach is coming down right now. This should cause Hyun to actually swing to the right. A uh, little. We'll see if he opts to go for it. Going to keep a close eye. Polt has not yet seen the... Polt. Actually, did he get a glimpse of them? Uh, okay, so he would have seen the first one, but he actually was running away and chasing down the single Zergling. And that's a problem because Hellion number, number one is about to die. Yep, it goes down and the SAV will not nearly complete this wall off on the low ground. So these two supply depots are almost guaranteed dead. But Hyun is really going to commit to this, guys. There's a bunker on the high ground with three Marines in it. A full SCV surround. No, oh, no, no supply depot lift. Oh, no. That is a disaster for Polt. He's going to lose a few SCVs here. The Roaches are going to run right on by. And all of a sudden, his economy is completely stopped for a good period of time. Yeah, the Roaches can just completely ignore the bunker from here. He's actually taking a surprising amount of damage. Yeah. But I mean, Polt did a great job of running his Hellions back around there to try and bait the units into the bunker. And he actually did it. Yeah, he did a great job with that. That was actually immaculate on a pull, but now Hyun is in the mineral line, killing off tons of SCVs. The Banshee's on the field. That's going to help get rid of these roaches extra super quick, but... Not before Polt loses a lot of SCVs. 12 workers have been killed at this point. That was really clever from Polt as well, as it looks like this reactor is actually going to fall here in just a moment. Um, he put all of his uh, all of his SCVs on hold position, so the pathing of the roaches, they didn't really know where to go, and so they were kind of struggling their way back out of it. And as soon as they took all that time to get around the back uh, of the uh, mineral line, he actually moved them right back to a mineral patch to allow his units to walk through. So very, uh, yeah. really cool move there. We'll see if that's enough for uh, Polt to stabilize. All right, so Hyun is uh, continuing to inject. He's going to throw down a couple of creep tumors. He's actually a little bit behind on his injects. Did miss some of them while microing there. Injects, of course, is a queen ability that allows you to produce extra units if you guys are uh, new to the StarCraft 2. So you can see those little green baubles that just popped. And there we go, larva on the ground makes more units. All right, is there any detection up? It looks like layer tech is done, so we can start to see Overseers here in just a second. And boom, Ooh, Overseer cloak. number one does finish up. Uh, so that's actually going to be neutralized here in a second. These queens really have to watch out, though. They do have enough for a transfusion. There uh, we go. And boom, very well done taking out that Banshee overhead. And a really sick transfuse there out of Quantic Hyun, managing to keep that queen alive. Roach is now chasing down the Marines, but another Banshee arrives, and those Roaches are going to have to turn around and go home. They, of course, cannot shoot up into the sky. Uh, as Hellions actually get a run by into the main base, only one queen in the main, so a little bit of economic damage is going to be dealt here. We'll see how many drones go down. Yeah, it looks like one has fallen so far. A couple more oh, going to nice fall timing. here in just a moment, but Roach is popping up just as you were saying. It looks like only three or four drones actually fell there, so not that bad of damage. Yeah. Only three workers as opposed to the 12 that Hyun did kill earlier. 47 supply right now to 74, but remember, Hyun has a lot of Roaches, and those are units that, per their cost, are very very, very supply heavy. You know, they, yes. uh, they're they not very strong for just two supply, and they are very, very cheap. That's why way back in the day, roaches used to be one supply, and they were horribly overpowered. But yeah. uh, that, that has changed. So third base has landed now for Polt. He's not going to be able to easily... He actually can't secure this at all, but that's why we're seeing him make it into an orbital. Um, he'll be able to lift it up. As these roaches are moving out right now, they're going to force the lift on this third in all likelihood, unless yeah. he decides to gun it for the natural, which he's actually queued to do. The roaches are queued to attack into the natural expansion. There's a bunker nearing completion at the same time. Two banshees going to arrive. Hyun needs to get the cancel. He does not. 300 minerals thrown away for Quantic Hyun. Yeah, that's right. Very good play there from uh, Poltz. Yeah, it looks like he was a little bit more distracted with this attack he was making over at the top right-hand corner. Corner. With a bunker pretty far positioned towards the back here and a siege tank that'll be able to outrange a lot of these roaches uh, in its punk punk DPS mode, it uh, should be pretty easy for Polt to hold on to this. Yeah, it shouldn't be difficult at all. Uh, at the same time, the third is continuing to mine. Without siege tech, I mean, he cannot hold this third, so Hyun, there we go, forces the lift. At the same time, the Banshees actually managed to kill off two queens, which was really, really nice for Polt because he killed, you know, he killed the third. He didn't force a cancel on it, and he killed two queens. 
Okay, so once again, a very roach-heavy composition out of Hyun. He's moving up into his Ephesors this time. There's finally the lift on the Orbital Command, which actually just happened. Uh, and the Banshees here, well, even though they're not going to kill roaches very quickly, roaches can't shoot up, so these Banshees will be able to take all these out eventually. And Hyun still has yet to actually restart his third. Uh, so all these Banshees kill off, you know, all these roaches of Hyun's. Hyun actually has only a two-base economy behind this. He's now sending off the drone to reestablish that third, but... Pold has, while he's behind on supply, he has a huge economic lead right now. Yeah, that's that's absolutely right. So, and and well, again, supply when all you have are roaches is, is not as relevant. Well, he's got sixty workers too, but they can't. Yeah, no, I mean they don't have as efficient a mining because this third base isn't up. Absolutely, I mean you're 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 absolutely right. He needs to transfer some actually. He's sitting on thirty workers in his main base. I love Hots uh, and the implementations that it brought with it because you can actually, even in Wings of Liberty now, hover over a base and see how many workers are on it. And here we have our um, Roaches coming in, actually going to be engaging and pushed back from those Marines and Marauders as the Banshees are once again at the third, and I think they're going to deny it again, Kevin. They are. There's only one Queen. Yeah, they're very high DPS. The Queen's shifting over. One Banshee kills one Queen straight up. This Queen is actually already injured. There is an Overseer sitting overhead, so Pult uh, still going ahead and cloaking those up, but not terribly necessary. Cancel the base, finally, right at the very end. It looks like Pult's going to try and come back and deny something again. No nice transfusions hitting those Queens, and eventually these Banshees will be pushed away. Uh, but a good job there by Polt denying that third even longer. And if we look at the third of Polt, it is mining quite nicely. He's throwing down refineries on it. Hyun's is still a good 90 seconds away from being completed. And that is going to spell a tough late mid game here for Quantic Hyun. None of these games have been very cheap games, though. Yes, they've started with some pressure and such, but they've all gone a pretty decently long period yeah. of time. Our last three games, like I said, have been 25 minutes, uh, 40 minutes, and 30 minutes. So um, this one is poised to go a little bit longer, but Pult is carrying a really nice advantage and certainly has the potential to make a big timing push with his biomech army oh, uh, to God. deny that third again, and that would effectively starve out uh, Hyun out of this game. Yeah, Hyun's actually in a little bit of trouble right now because he just queued up six infestors, and infestors are great, but here's what they can't do well. They can't fight without an army supporting them. And 12 links is not an army. That's what Hyun's making right now. He's going to have 12 links, seven roaches, and then all of his infestors. But Bolt needs to take advantage of this. He needs to push quickly. And he's kind of doing a slow push here, scanning, killing tumors. That's going to give Hyun the time to make an army. Yeah. Um, all right. So Hyun does have a reasonable amount of Zerglings coming up behind this. And if he can land a couple of fungal growths, he'd be in a good spot. Very important that he picked off those Banshees right at the very beginning of that fight. He's trying to do a Zergling run by at the same time, but uh, won't be able to get there as there's already tanks and Marines in position. Yeah. So we should see him use these links to help engage this army, assuming Pult stays long enough. He'll be able to come in for a minor flank, which will distract a lot of the siege tank shots. But uh, he's waiting to engage right now. 150 supply to 134. 1-1 one, one is completed, and some Banelings are morphing in for Hyun. But he does not have Banelings speed once again. He's been going for that upgrade pretty late. Oh, and he's actually completely circumventing this army, running right up towards the natural. There are two tanks in position huh. with a lot of Marines, though. That could be very risky, as Hyun does look like he has enough to take out this army, as long as he would just do a really nice flanking maneuver. Yeah, it absolutely looks like he does. Uh, we're going to have to see if he decides to come in from the back here. I, I cannot see him actually cracking Pult's defensive position because of the full wall-offs with the supply depots. But he could totally save the Sanctuary. It's going to go down now at this stage. And with no... I, I love, though, that Hyun is prohibiting Pult from reinforcing this army. Yes. Actually, th I think that is, in fact, his plan. As uh, Pult is going to find out very quickly here yeah. with the mass number of Zerglings and Roaches. Scans off the left to see just how much is there. And now he's got a pretty good idea. Yeah, so here's the thing. Pult's army stranded because... Hyun can't, uh, Hyun's stopping Pult from being able to reinforce, though now he's sending his army home, and that's going to allow these extra Marines and Medivacs to join up with the uh, army that's on the creep. Yeah, and it looks like Hyun's going to engage us just as those reinforcements move up. No, actually loses uh, a few Zerglings, and then waits for it. No, now Here he's going go. in. Uh, look at the spread of units from Pult, though. The Infestor's making their way through, burrowing, but they're all getting taken out by splash damage. There's still a few left, but once again, Pult, with a magnificent spread of units, deals with this about as cost-efficiently as he could have. Yep. Hyun still brought too much to the table, and that was going to take out that force, but uh, Pult took a lot with him. He, he did. He took a lot of units, but overall, you know, uh, Pult had six siege tanks at home, and that means a lot. Uh, those six tanks would have made a huge difference. Half the half of those Zerglings actually would have just Pult, disappeared. Pult would have won the fight, actually, yeah. had those six siege tanks been there. So now he's in a position where, you know, he's equal in supply, but he killed a lot of links. He only killed two or three infestors. He killed three. He killed three infestors, still three remaining. And he's going to move out with a follow-up push here, but, you know, this is another half an army, we could say. 
Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, the mech backbone is here, but now there's far less bio units that could be available, especially Marauders to soak up some of those bailing shots. Um... All right, so it looks like Hyun trying to re-expand uh, towards that right-hand side, putting some creep tumors down there. He does have another hatchery over at his more normal fourth uh, that is actually spotted by Pult right away, so he keeps that in check, knows the timing on it, he'll be able to make a strike there later on. Ultraless Cavern on the way at this stage for Hyun. Ultra's not quite as good in Wings of Liberty as they are in Heart of the Swarm, but still very, very powerful, potent units that let you dump a lot of money very quickly. Hatchery's going to be taken out here by Polt. Very nice play indeed. Uh, slowing down the mining of Hyun as he's almost out of minerals on that second base, but here comes a counter from Hyun. Yeah, that's right. And there are no siege tanks here to defend at this time, so uh, all these supply depots up at the front are getting taken out extremely quickly. This is actually a pretty big blow to Polt. Yeah. This is going to supply block him, and that's a lot of infrastructure that goes down. This oh, entire God. base is exposed. Polt's going home, and it's going to be really tough to get in a good position here. Marines are caught out of position. They're going to get completely surrounded. Hyun has cleaned up a huge portion of Bolt's army, oh. and now the siege tanks oh. with no support. Oh, is waiting for those mainlings, and they finally go off, and the siege tanks aren't sieged up. Everything goes down, and Hyun has taken a commanding oh, wow. lead in this game. I mean, this is too large of an advantage at this point. Hyun may be able to steamroll his way to victory. We're going to have to see. Double Starport is kind of caught out of position as well here, as it's down at the third, which is forced to be lifted. There's a lot of medevacs, though, so these units may be able to survive these links. A decent position here for Polt, really backing himself into as many cost-effective corners as he can, but there's so many units swarming at him, it's going to be very difficult to try and break this. Remember, though, Hyun doesn't have too much mining going on behind this. His uh, bases have been continually picked off, but Polt is down to 66 supply. There it is, GG. GG, and Hyun has won three games in a row. He started 0-2, but now finds himself in the advantage and halfway towards that $5,000 first prize. Yeah, he's playing really intelligently. That um, maneuver where he kind of, he cut off Polt's ability to reinforce, and from there, bided his time, waited till he got more and more units, and then used those units, of course, to crush Polt's army. Which is really, it shows, uh, excuse me, Hyun's ability to kind of step back from things and realize the situation and then make the smartest decisions. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And uh, also, with Ohana being gone, that means that there's only one map left of the map pool, which I believe is Akalon Flat. Yep, so we still need to see it. That's right. Uh, and then we're going to reset the map pool as we head towards the next few games. But for now, we're going to take a commercial break. And when we get back, it'll be time for game number six. We'll see if Polk can tie it up against Quantic Hyun.